Foundation Day was similar to the Brazilian Carnival, with traditions drawn from older rituals such as Mardi Gras. The festivities included everything, from costumes to partial nudity to wild dancing and drinking that went on for many hours. It was loud, colorful, and perfect for what Morris had in mind. Her death mask was for someone, and they would see it soon enough. She studied the skyscrapers that lined the street the long parade traveled down. Mars spotted the building she needed. Her gaze found the light in the window high above the street. Its presence showed that her target was still working, despite the wild celebration in the streets. It was exactly what she had expected, yet it was still sad. Her target could not appreciate the fun all these humans were having. Morris did. She could enjoy it. She resolved to attend one of the parades simply for fun sometime. Right now, she was hunting. For someone like her, nothing was more fun than hunting. Still, she made a point of noticing some of the parade's details. She'd tell Spider about them later when they were sitting around laughing at a show together. A brass band marched by, banging their cymbals and playing a raucous, almost discordant tune. All the musicians had dressed as devils, with red-painted skin, horns, and tails. The crowd roared its enthusiasm, taking it all as part of the fun. A young woman flashed the band, raising her shirt above her head. The band saluted her with an extended trumpet note as they marched by, a huge smile on every face. Mars refocused on her mission. Her quarry was only one of the many targets she'd hunted for the past several months. She'd helped expose bureaucrat and political candidate Kendall Voorhees' identity as a Mark IV android. Since then, Mars spent her nights hunting down other androids all over the city. She didn't hunt them because they were androids. Mars was a Mark VI android herself. They became her enemies because they served corpse. The sinister corporation had created her and Voorhees. In a way, it wasn't the android's fault— Corpse had built and programmed them to fulfill certain tasks. Developing a tendency to question their orders was not part of their programming. It wasn't part of her programming, either. Someone had changed certain aspects of that coding. In the end, Corpse betrayed and murdered Tina Harrington, the assassin Mars was modeled after. Without their knowledge, Tina had programmed her with the task to hunt down and destroy the people responsible for her death through justice or vengeance. Tina's death left Morris waging war on corpse in every street of Nuevo Diego. She hunted everywhere, from this prosperous neighborhood to the crime-riddled streets of her home in Pueblo de Perro. Her quarry consisted of Mark III, IV, and V models in all shapes and sizes. The Mark III was not smart and struggled to imitate human behavior, but it was frighteningly strong. The Mark IV was almost as powerful, but much smarter and more capable of imitating a human being. As for the Mark V, Mars hadn't had much experience with them yet. That would change tonight.